Hi guys, I'm going to be making a video on Rambo Loom. And I'm going to be making this Rambo Loom bracelet. Or, yeah, bracelet. I'm going to make it my bracelet today. And I'm going to be using this pink, which is um, glow in the dark. And so is this green. And I'm also going to be making white, or having white in the bracelet and another different a hot pink so what you're going to need is of course the rubber bands I just showed you and a loom and also a hook so I'm going to be showing you how I've already done one of the side rows and now I'm going to be showing you how to do the side so you take the top peg well first it has to be in this Figuration like that with the U's pointing up from you and you're just gonna take your rubber band and go right and go right here to this peg and then all the way down that row until you get to here and then you just take the rubber band and cross it onto here. So yeah. And I have no way of speeding this video up, so it might be a little long. So, yeah. Mm. Just gonna have to bear with me here, because I don't have any way of making it better. Mm. And if you see my, if you see a gray cat, that's my cat Shadow, and she's just wanting attention. So yeah. Now I'm gonna use pink. Then at the bottom it should look like this and it's up. And now you're just gonna wanna push down all your outside rubber bands so that you make sure none of them get like mixed up with other rubber bands. Now you're going to want to take your color you want in the inside, like here it's white in the inside. And I'm going to be making a double of this. I know, I just noticed that. <laughs> what a quinky dink. So you just take it, put it on the side, cross it over to here, and then pull the top up to there. Then it should look like that. Then just do it until. Here, let me just do it here. I'll show you where to stop. I jumped. These rubber bands are a little hard to grip because they're smooth. But whatever. Eat. 
you don't go you don't do it right here so you so you end right here and then you start right here or right here <laughs> so now it's time for hooking well so so your loom your your creation doesn't fall apart when you try to hook it you need a capping band so you take the rubber band and you wrap it around Oof. I'm not very good at wrapping a capping band but I guess and you just loop it three or four times I, I do it three times but you guys can do it four times if you want to and then you just take the I'm going to take the the darker pink one and take it, pull it up, and then take the green one, pull that one up to there, and then take your last from my last pink one and pull it up. And you just keep on hooking that all the way up. I have a little problem here. That's why it's taking forever. Here we go, now I'm all back to normal. This video is probably going to be like 14 minutes long. Because I have a mess up sometimes. One accident. In the meanwhile, if you guys are already done hooking, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe because I really need some help with that. <laughs> so please, please, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm begging you. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
if you see a um a quilt over here, you guys can look at it and make it all look pretty. <laughs> How pretty it is. Don't you just hate it when your rubber bands don't want to work with you right now? Isn't it so annoying? That's what happens to me all the time. 